Hi, in this video we're going to look at the oxidation of primary alcohols. So here we've got a primary alcohol, we can tell it's a primary alcohol because the OH is attached to a carbon and it's only attached to one other carbon. And to oxidise an alcohol, including primary alcohols, we use potassium dichromate in acid conditions or acidified potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate is K2 and Cr2O7 and we normally acidify it with um, sulfuric acid. Now in these conditions here we're going to distill, uh, do a distillation, and in that case we produce an aldehyde. This group here is the aldehyde. It's always on the end of a chain, so you've got a carbon double O and just one hydrogen. So we've lost a hydrogen off that carbon there, combine with this oxygen here, and another hydrogen off the oxygen there to make H2O. We represent, the, the, this here represents the oxidising agent. Um, Later on A2, you can actually write a sort of a fuller, more balanced equation for this. We simplify it by just having an O to represent an oxidising agent, and that balances the oxygens on this side here, here as well. So we've got two oxygens here, two oxygens on this side. Okay, so distillation involves apparatus a bit like this. So our mixture, our alcohol and our oxidising agent, will be mixed together here, and uh, as the reaction occurs, we produce an aldehyde. And the aldehyde actually has a lower boiling point than the alcohol, so that evaporates, goes up here, and then condenses. And because it condenses sort of on a downward slope like here, as it condenses, it turns back into a liquid, and the liquid will roll down here and drip in here. So as soon as the aldehyde is made, it's separated. That's what distillation does. And potassium dichromate at the beginning of the reaction starts off orange. It reacts and it goes green, okay? Because it is itself being reduced to a different compound. And that's how we know the, oxida um, the oxidation has occurred because the solution will go from orange to green. Okay, another thing with the condenser you must realise is that water goes in the bottom, comes out the top, otherwise it won't fill up with water. Right, now let's have a look at then rather than using distillation, different conditions if you use reflux instead. So, reflux apparatus, rough drawer I'm afraid, but it looks something like this. Okay, so now the condenser is pointing straight up, it's not at an angle. So, refluxing is when we, it's a continual boiling condensing of a reaction mixture to ensure that the reaction takes place without boiling dry. So we can get up to higher temperatures here and everything just evaporates, goes into the condenser, condenses and drips back down. So it never escapes, unlike the distillation, where once it evaporates, it gets condensed and separated. Here, nothing gets separated. So in this case then, when the aldehyde is made, it won't escape, it will condense, go back down, and it gets oxidised again. Okay, so if we took that aldehyde, that aldehyde was refluxed, again potassium dichromate, acidified conditions, we put the oxidising agent in there with it, and we make a carboxylic acid this time. Okay, so the aldehyde has gone to carboxylic acid, now it's no water is produced in this reaction. Now, what you'd probably do is rather than, you know, you wouldn't make the aldehyde by distillation and then reflux it to make a carboxylic acid. You'll just put the primary alcohol in at the beginning under, in reflux conditions, potassium dichromate, acidified, and it will go to the carboxylic acid and water. Now, there's two oxidising agents here needed to balance the equation because we oxidize, this reaction represents two oxidations from the primary alcohol to the aldehyde and from the aldehyde to the carboxylic acid. Okay? In all these reactions, though, the same thing happens to the potassium dichromate. Every time there's an oxidation, it goes from orange to green. Okay? So what we see in this overall in this video then is that primary alcohols, if they're distilled with potassium dichromate, they make aldehydes. If they're refluxed with potassium dichromate, they make carboxylic acids.